Well, I guess I may as well. Um, I guess I may as well go ahead and do a quick uh, uh, review of this thing now that I've driven it from point A to point B, um, and I will make mention of a few things that I didn't like while I was driving it. I mean, I'll just put that out there. But but um, let's just go through. So for the most part, the truck itself is, is standard. You know, windows, mirrors, that sort of thing. All your gauges, um, steering wheel, all that's the, the, the same, at least what I'm used to, versus like a 2019 or 2020 Freightline Cascadia, even though the year is now 2024. I think most of the changes that we'll see is, is in the technology, because technology does what it does. It gets better and better every year, right? So for the most part, everything's basically the same. Um, I almost don't like this, to be honest with you. Uh, uh, granted, the black on the black is nice, but, you know, I almost want it to, to see that Cascadia pop. But that's just me, you know. Or at least have the black on, like, a silver or chrome or, or something like that, you know. Um, not not a fan of that right there. It's black, you know. Let's, let's, let's make it pop a little bit. That's just me saying, hey, man, I just, just, I just, I just want something in there, you know. Make it feel good. Make it look good, right? Um, this 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 version comes with a CB. We're gonna go ahead and get into the. Um, there's, there's some stuff in here. Not quite sure what that is, but it is what it is. Got the drawer space, you know. And then of course we got the cubby areas up top. Um, as you're driving, make sure that you don't have anything up here that will kind of slip out and then fall out because I've had that happen to me a time or two, and it's not good when it falls in your head, right? Um, of course you got your, your curtains. Got your main bunk curtain here. Um, we've got a space for a microwave. Um, cubby hole up, up, up here as well. This is missing a fridge. Honestly, I don't like that. Um, and we'll come back here and just, just real quick. It's got the um, power source back there. This should come with a fridge, in my personal opinion. Now, granted, 40 years ago, a truck probably didn't have a fridge to come with it. It probably wasn't even an idea back then. This is 2024. In my mind, if a trucking company really appreciates you as a driver, as, as a company driver, they will make sure that that truck comes with a fridge. That's just me. Why? So that you can save money. I don't know how, how much money that's spent on food because I didn't have food in the truck. Now, granted, at some point, I, I started to, to try to do something. So I had like a cooler, but I had to buy ice every few days or so just to keep, the, just to keep my cooler cool. Enough so that I could have lunch, meat, and cheese, whatever else, so I could make sandwiches. But honestly, the way that technology is today, a trucking company, in my view, doesn't appreciate you as a driver if it does not come with a fridge. Where's the fridge? It's not in there, right? All right, in, in this particular model, this is a little different for me, but um, we've got the sunshade right there, you know, um, and it snaps on. Uh, same thing for that side as well. Got the bunk here. Um, in this case, we only have one bunk. We don't need two because the, the the guy's a solo driver, and for what his needs are, um, we don't need a two uh, bunk uh, bunk truck. But however, a lot of space up here. This is pretty cool. I like it. Uh, we've got the cubby hook right there. Open up the the, the closet here. Closet space. Um, we've got some space for hangers and whatnot. Um, of course, we have the standard drawer that pops out, and we have some more space down in here for whatever your needs might be. Come down in here, as I recall, you could hit that, and there we go. And we've got uh, storage space in your side, uh, side pockets, that one, that one, and that one. Of course, your fire extinguisher right there as well. Uh, it looks like, is that a, oh, we got a first aid kit, okay. I like it. As a safety guy, I like that. And close this up. And, of course, you have your um, escape hatch right here. So, uh, yeah. That is the inside of a 2024 Freightliner Cascade. Now, some of the things that I did not like. A few things I didn't like here. Now, first and foremost, this, this truck is not getting above 65 miles an hour. Now, I do recognize that, you know, th this is going towards a bigger company okay um there, there's a few issues regarding this truck that that i i didn't like so first and foremost the truck is getting above 65 miles an hour i know most companies have some sort of speed limit regulator there i understand that um however the rest of our trucks get up to 65 however once you put it into cruise 
you can bump it up to about 68 if you need to. Uh, this truck didn't allow for that at all, okay? Um, one of the things I felt to show you, let's just kind of turn you guys on the side right there, this, this triangle, okay? So that's actually a light. What that does is that if, if your turn signal is on or if your forces, if you're going around a roundabout, so therefore your, your um, steering wheel is turning to the right and there's a radar on the side down here where the steps are. And if it sees a vehicle that is either right there next to you or is about to be right there next to you while you're turning, then that thing comes on there's a loud noise that that's warning you hey there's somebody next to you okay i don't know that i necessarily like that you know reason being because if you're a professional driver then you should already know that there's somebody next to you however in, this, in the situation that i was in uh 75 north merging onto 285 and going westbound so for those of you who know there's that 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 curve right um i'm staying in it i'm staying in my lane Turn, turn signal is not on because I don't need it on, but I'm in the middle of that curve, but my wheel is turned to the right. It sees a car that was being aggressive, basically, and was speeding up to get next to me so that it could hopefully pass me, which there was no way it could do that. But, you know, it's, it's a four-wheeler, right? It's, it's being stupid, right? But because my wheel is turned, that alarm went off. Now, that irritates me because I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm aware of my surroundings. However, it sees that car and it thinks, the truck thinks that I'm trying to turn into the car and I'm not. I don't appreciate that, you know, and I don't know if there's any way to fine tune that, but I don't like it, right? Uh, something else that I didn't like. So, okay, so most companies will tell you that on a straight and narrows, go ahead and use cruise control, you know? Um, I've never really had an issue with, 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 with um, cruise when it's bright day, clear skies, Everything's good. I'll put it into cruise control because it is what it is. However, in this model, for some reason, once you turn on the cruise control, you can feel the wheel start to do this here. The truck is trying to keep you in your lane, right? And that's only when you have the cruise control enabled. I don't like that, okay? I work for a company that hauls chemicals. I don't like that because what if... Just me being me. And I actually know of a story where the other safety guy, he had... A, okay, so let's do this. There's another safety guy out towards the Midwest who had the opportunity to test drive a brand new 2024 Freightliner Cascadia, okay? Um, he was driving it from point A to point B, so I, I think another driver could get to it or something like that, right? So with that, he drove it. And he had the opportunity to really experience what that truck could and could not do. He had a situation where there was like a, a gator in the road or a, a spare tire, something that was in his lane where he needed to make moves to merge over into the next lane so he could get around it safely. In his case, the truck, because it was trying to force him to stay in his lane, the truck refused to move, move over to the next lane so that he could get a what get around it he had to fight it basically i shouldn't have to fight a truck when i'm trying to be safe i see the i see the tire in the road but he's having to fight the truck to get over to the next lane so just that so he didn't hit the tire that was in the road what if that was a person right i shouldn't have to fight the truck if i'm as a professional driver making moves that are being safe why is it i gotta fight with the truck i don't like that so when it comes to the cruise control I don't like the fact that, you know, it's, it's fighting me to stay in my lane. I don't like that. And I, I and because I am a chemical driver, I liken that to what if I had a load on my back and this truck is trying to force me to stay in my lane or, or it's, it's, it's doing this here, that movement automatically transferred to the rear, right? I don't like that, okay? So in this case, this, this truck going over to the driver, I'm... I'm going to suggest so. You might not want to use cruise control all that often, you know, uh, just because it's, it's going to do it. Now, because I am a regional safety guy, I have to drive to certain locations, and so I'm used to getting rental cars left and right. I'm, it's, it's fine for a car. It's a, it's, it's a car. But in a truck, I think we need to revisit some of these safety features that we have for the truck because we're, 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 we're turning drivers 
where 10, 15, 20 years ago, they were a driver. Now we're turning them into steering wheel holders just due to all the safety features in the truck, right? And my question is, who who works? Who, who, who orders these trucks with these safety features, right? Do you talk to the people who are actually driving the truck? Or are you just thinking, hey, I'm the vice president of, of this, this company. This sounds like a great feature. Let me buy it. Give me 20 of them right who does that i would hope that at the very least that you would find buy a few but buy a few for your drivers to test them out to basically say hey i like this i like this i like this but this doesn't work this doesn't work this this doesn't work right there's so many different fields you got chemicals you got uh well you got tankers you got dry bulk you got a uh, dry van you got flatbed you know it's, it's you got to find a truck that works for what you work with right Anyway, so um, anyway, I'm not going to show the outside um, one because the name's on the side, but two, um, it's it's the same. Although I will show this real quick. Hold on. I need answers. Okay, so for those of you who haul dry bulk products, okay, so this 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 truck is equipped for dry bulk. So we have this here, and then of course over there we have that right there, right? What is this? I don't know what this is. And so when you look at it, it shows you air, it's PSI, and it's, it's got the the truck rear. And I'm I'm assuming that that is for the airbags back here. But I don't know what this is. I've never seen this before on a truck. I don't know what this is for. I see this here. This is to well see. I recognize this because as a chemical driver, we would use this regarding our um, air, right? So we hook up to the air, and then that air would, wait, is this for air? Okay, so I see the valve right there, but there's not enough to, I'm starting to wonder if this is for air. I see this little arrow right here too, which points this way. So I'm assuming that in, in, in right there as well. So everything is pointing. There's the arrow there. Everything's pointing this way. So I'm assuming that is for air. I wonder if this is for airflow. So you could hook up an air hose to here and your air goes out that way because there's a valve right here. Here. I wonder, I wonder if this is for air. If you know what this is, let me know. Because I have no idea what this is for. I've never seen this installed in a truck before. I don't know what it's for. Anyway. Sorry for that. I think we're done. Um, there's nothing else for me to show. Everything else is the same on your standard freight liner, um, for the most part. This one is equipped specifically for the dry boat side, so hauling cement and, and, and whatnot. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, do you think that technology is, is is getting out of hand when it comes to truck drivers? Do you believe that it's, it's forcing a new breed of steering wheel holders? Because that's what I think, and that's just me. Anyway, you guys be good, be safe, and all that you do. Bye bye.